Hi everybody, this is Tristan from World English School and today we're going to read a pretty long book. This book is how many pages? It's uh, many, many pages. <laughs> There's no numbers here, but I think this is maybe 50 or more pages. And this is called The Story of Little Babaji. And Ami, you know this story, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ami read this story in Japan. Mm -hmm. In Japanese? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this must be a famous story. Mm -hmm. This is my first time to read it. The story of little Babaji. That's little Babaji. The story of little Babaji. Once upon a time there was a little boy and his name was little Babaji. Is this India? Maybe India. Babaji sounds like an Indian name. And his mother was called Mamaji. That makes sense. <laughs> Babaji and Mamaji. Is she a tailor? Seamstress? She's working. And his father was called Papaji. Babaji, Mamaji, and Papaji. Nice family. And Mamaji made him a beautiful little red coat and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers. What are trousers? Pants. Nice. She's proud, eh? And Papaji went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella and a lovely little pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. Wow, his dad got him some nice shoes. These are nice pictures. Look, he's got a new green umbrella. Cool. And then, wasn't little Babaji grand? Look, somebody's taking a picture of him. What year is this story? Maybe 1920s or earlier? This is an old style camera. Little Babaji was so grand. So he put on all his fine clothes and went out for a walk in the jungle with his red coat, his blue trousers, purple shoes, and his green umbrella. And he's in the jungle now. Is he going to meet a tiger? Yes. And by and by he met a tiger. And the tiger said to him, Little Babaji, I'm going to eat you up. He's a beautiful tiger. He's a big tiger. And a dangerous tiger. <laughs> and little Babaji said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful little red coat. So the tiger said, Very well, I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little red coat. <laughs> that tiger. That's a giant tiger. Little Babaji would fit inside that tiger, no problem. <laughs> so he's going to give him his red coat, huh? <laughs> so the tiger got poor little Babaji's beautiful little red coat and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. <laughs> Look at that. He's wearing a little boy's jacket. <laughs> That's kind of cute, isn't it? <laughs> I like that. And little Babaji went on, and by and by he met another tiger. A different tiger? This one's fatter, Janai. Look at that. And it said to him, Little Babaji, I'm going to eat you up. And little Babaji said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful little blue trousers. So the tiger said, Very well, I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little blue trousers. <laughs> so he's going to give him... A blue trouser. <laughs> I didn't know tigers liked coats and trousers. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's wearing the blue trousers. So the tiger got poor little Babaji's beautiful little blue trousers and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. <laughs> Never seen a tiger wearing blue trousers. And little Babaji went on, and by and by he met another tiger. And it said to him, Little Babaji, I'm going to eat you up. And little Babaji said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, 
and I'll give you my beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson, crimson linings. But the tiger said, what, would, what use would your shoes be to me? I've got four feet and you've only got two. You haven't got enough shoes for me. Good point. The tiger has four feet. Babaji only has two. He's missing two shoes if Babaji gives him only two. But little Babaji said, you could wear them on your ears. So I could, said the tiger. That's a very good idea. Give them to me and I won't eat you this time. <laughs> now Babaji's in his underpants. <laughs> and the tiger is going to wear them on his ears. Babaji's clever, isn't he? So the tiger got poor little Babaji's beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. <laughs> he looks so happy. So now there's a tiger with blue trousers, a purple coat, and purple shoes. Three different tigers. And by and by, little Babaji met another tiger. And it said to him, Little Babaji, I'm going to eat you up. And little Babaji said, Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. But the tiger said, how can I carry an umbrella when I need all of my paws for walking with? You could tie a knot on your tail and carry it that way, said little Babaji. So I could, said the tiger. Give it to me and I won't eat you this time. Babaji's got brains. So he got poor little Babaji's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. So now there's four different tigers with four different things. And Babaji has nothing. And poor little Babaji went away crying because the cruel tigers had taken away all his fine clothes. Oh, poor Babaji. <laughs> Presently, he heard a horrible noise that sounded like and it got louder and louder. Oh dear, said little Babaji. There are all the tigers coming back to eat me up. What shall I do? So he ran quickly to a palm tree and peeped round it to see what the matter was. He's hiding. Are they tigers? Uh-oh. <laughs> and there he saw all the tigers fighting and disputing which of them was the grandest. And at last, they all got so angry that they jumped up and took off all the fine clothes and began to tear each other, tear each other with their claws and bite each other with their great big white teeth. Why did they take off the clothes first? Maybe they didn't want to ruin them, huh? Now they're fighting, fighting, fighting with their big teeth and claws. Look at that. What a fight, huh? Babaji's just watching and all the clothes on the ground. It's a terrible fight. <laughs> Look at this one. Boxing. <laughs> I like that. And they came rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the very tree where little Babaji was hiding. But he jumped quickly in behind the umbrella, and the tigers all caught hold of each other's tails as they wrangled and scrambled. And so they found themselves in a ring round the tree. And Babaji is hiding behind the umbrella, and they've all bitten onto each other's tails. What is going to happen here? Then, when the tigers were very, <laughs> were very wee and very far away, little Babaji jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers, why have you taken off all your nice clothes? Don't you want them anymore? But the tigers only answered, Grrr! Then little Babaji said, If you want them, say so, or I'll take them away. But the tigers would not let go of each other's tails. So they could only say, <laughs> So angry. <laughs> Smart boy. Look, he got all his clothes back. So little Babaji put on all of his fine clothes again and walked off. Nice, he got them all back, eh? What's going to happen to the tigers? 
and the tigers were very, very angry, but still they would not let go of each other's tails. Hmm. And they were so angry that they ran round the tree, trying to eat each other up. And they ran faster and faster. Look, they're becoming one circle of a tiger. Till they were whirling round so fast that you couldn't see their legs at all. And they ran still faster and faster and faster. Tigers really are fast, aren't they? And now they're chasing each other around the tree till they all just melted away and there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter or ghee as it is called in India round the foot of the tree <laughs> it turned into butter ghee <laughs> this monkey's like what <laughs> got any popcorn Now Papaji was just coming home from his work with a great big brass pot in his arms and when he saw what was left of all the tigers he said Oh what a lovely melted butter I'll take that home to Mamaji for her to cook with So he put it all into the great big brass pot and took it home to Mamaji to cook with He picked up all that butter When Mamaji saw the melted butter wasn't she pleased now, she said, we'll all have pancakes for supper. Ah, not popcorn, but pancakes. Nice pancakes, eh? They're gonna eat. So she got flour and eggs and milk and sugar and butter, and she made a huge pile, a huge big plate of the most lovely pancakes, and she fried them in the melted butter, which the tigers had made, and they were just as yellow and brown as the little tigers. <laughs> just the same color, huh? made from tiger ghee <laughs> and then they all sat down to supper do you think Babaji knows that this came from the tigers do you think he knows that he looks happy and Mamaji ate 27 pancakes and Papaji ate 55 how many did Babaji eat but little Babaji ate 169 because he was so hungry. Amazing. And that is the end of the story of little Babaji. That's writ uh, written by Helen Bannerman and illustrated by Fred Mar Marcellino. Are they both the illustrators or did one of them write it? I don't know. That's a wonderful story. I like that. It's the story of Little Babaji. Thanks for watching. Bye.